Hey guys, it's JReacts, and I'm just here to bring you guys a video about my thoughts on GameStop. So, this video is going to be titled, Why Would You Miss GameStop? Now, one of the reasons why I think most of us, at least for me, is Midnight Release was always dope. I don't care anybody says how nerdy, now, why would you want to go to Midnight Wait for a game, you know? Before people were buying games digitally, like on the extent, because I buy most of my games digitally, like all of them actually. Midnight releases were always cool. I went to midnight releases for 2K and I believe it was one more, but I can't think of the other one. But I did go for a couple of 2K games, basketball games, and those were always fun. They had little, you were able to play the game a bit early there. Like, you know how to usually have a display, you can play like demos on it, you can play 2K. There was people that they had trivia quests where you can win awards. I don't know how the y'all game style work, but my game style pretty lit. That, that was always cool to me, so I always enjoyed that, but that other thing that was always great, to a lesser extent, when it wasn't as annoying, it's like everybody there was so friendly, from my experience. But besides when they always got to throw the 37,000 things in your face about, do you want to buy this game, that game, blah, 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 I want to pre-order this, that. Besides that, they're always friendly. Most part, they know what they were talking about. They were like, it was a spot where you, you felt welcome to, right? It was always cool to always be able to go somewhere where you felt like you belong. That was always great. You know, the way you just see all the hundreds of games stacked up on the wall. Those were always cool. Go again. Looking through a crap ton of games. Those were always fun. I really did appreciate all that little fun stuff. Uh, getting a physical copy of a game in itself. Now, you can still do that, obviously, but... A lot of people may have a collective purpose. I don't really collect games like that. A lot of my stuff I get it digitally. So when it comes to like games and stuff like that, it's always been great to me to like... When I first got an Xbox One, when I got Xenoverse, I was so happy to have that. 2K15, I still have the games to these days on this. Those, when you get a hard copy, it's yours. Like, you, like even though digital is yours, but we have that physical copy, it, it feels like it really does belong to you, right? You don't got to... Well, back then, you know, I'll get into that in the next thing. But it, it, it felt like it was yours, you know. You're able to look at the case. The cases usually always look cool. Those were nice. Another thing is, um, granted, this is a problem. Not really a problem, but what you do now. But prior to the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, if you played on console, you used to be able to uh, get the game, put in the disc, and play it. Those were always, those were great days. <laughs> oh, they were fantastic. Cause that was like one of the main reasons why I didn't start going digitally at first. Because I used to be like, I have to download this game. I'm not big on it because I feel like it just take up more space. Especially with the hard drive space back then. And it, it wasn't cool. But I, I am... I'm very glad that GameStop was able to, you know, give me certain experiences while I was younger. What else was there? If I can think off the top of my head, that was... That was pretty cool about GameStop. Now, with GameStop, I've never really been a fan of, uh, you know, the way, like, you say, like, you bought a $60 game, you returned it, and you wanted your money back, you didn't get $60 back. You got, the most I've ever gotten for a $60 game was $20 back. And that was, like, the how I did that once and never did it again. It was with some game I had, and it was, like, I hated that. So the, it, it was really frustrating. Back then, buying used games were always good. Granted, you can still buy used games now, but I don't usually buy used games. I usually buy them. First of all, being able to download games digitally makes me happy. I know a lot of people aren't big on, like, sorry for the yawning. I know a lot of people are not big on digital being the main thing. I personally don't mind it. I can understand because I have heard horror stories of people losing their stuff. And all that stuff, it says all your games are linked to one account these days for the most part. You could, all, all it takes for you to forget a password. <laughs> or you get your account hacked, the next thing you know, there, there are problems you're going to have. Compare, you just have a physical, you know, disc. Or like, say like, there was a game, I think, for an example, I'm going to use Flappy Bird, even though this isn't a, just fucking bear with me. Because I can't think of a game off the top of my head. So imagine Flappy Bird had a physical disc, right? And you know how it was like, it was a mobile game. So let's just say it was a, you know, a digital game. They took it off the store. If you have a physical disc, that's yours. You can still play it. But if they take it off and you like delete the game, I don't even know if they can remove it from your library, but let's say that you delete the game. 
you're in trouble. <laughs> like, there's not much you can do. Like, you can't play no more, which sucks. But, yeah, but I understand. It, well, some people's cases, right? You buy a game digitally. If your connection sucks, you probably still buy games or physical copies because they're quicker to download. But I, I usually don't. But this was just a little video I want to talk about GameStop since it's on my mind. But I really do appreciate everybody who decided to listen for like five or so minutes into this video. I'm grateful. The background is just left for that gameplay I got from earlier today. So that was pretty fun. You know, little mods here and there. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. Please like and subscribe. Peace.